Typically, we see an increase in separation anxiety in uh, toddlers between 18 and 24 months. While that's a really exciting time for both parents and toddlers because it's all filled with excitement and, and exploration, um, it can be also daunting. It's the first time that they start to explore, but it's also the first time that they start to experience that mom and dad aren't here. It's important for parents to keep their game face on so that uh, kids don't see distress on their faces when it's time for transition or separation. The longer we make that goodbye, the diff more difficult it is for kids to separate. And we sort of send them a message that this is a big deal. And really what we want to do is send them a message that this is really normal and it's going to be okay. Sometimes when we've been separated from our toddler, we make kind of a big deal when we get back together. And it's, it's better if we make those as casual as possible so the kids start to see that, oh, this is normal and this is how we do it and it's okay. Have a consistent bedtime, have a consistent bedtime routine like reading books, um, bath time, maybe a snack. Uh, some time in with kids just before bedtime. All of those things are very reassuring for kids and if you can keep that consistent day to day it helps reassure them that everything is going to be okay and this is just how we do it. Usually by age three you'll see a decrease in that initial separation anxiety and that's usually just because of lots of repetition, lots of practice. When the child's worries and fears really interfere with the parents day-to-day -day functioning when it's really become unreasonable uh, to be able to function as a family and for parents to do what they need to do to raise their children and to maintain their lifestyle. In other words when the child's fears and worries are driving the house and not the parents. 